Hey, it is time for the final one of these. We have gone super in-depth into Cetus and Fortuna already, and now we get to my favorite, that being Deimos. Though you already knew that since it's in the title. Deimos of course being very similar to the other two open worlds, but in my opinion, Deimos does offer great alternatives in ways to play and farm that allow it to feel entirely different in some aspects. Just quickly though, if you are new to the channel and this video does help you in any way, don't forget to check out the subscribe button. It massively helps out the channel and you can always change your mind later. The first and most obvious thing to talk about is bounties, since that is the backbone of open worlds. Deimos is a little bit different in two different ways. The first is that re-rolling bounties is incredibly easy and possible to get a perfect bounty 95% of the time. The second and more obvious is that Deimos uses a token system instead of the generic standing that the other two open worlds use, which in my opinion is way better. You can use these farms and methods and just go crazy for a single day and it can sort you out for a week from one solid session due to the tokens being able to be basically just held onto as long as you want to. Now, through the previous two videos, we have talked about a spreadsheet that I created that has all of the possible bounties and expected objectives that can spawn in them. Luckily, for whatever reason, Deimos has an incredibly small amount of different bounties and has a really small amount of different objectives, meaning it is very, very easy to get what you want and farm bounties super efficiently compared to the other two open worlds. So, Deimos really brings rolling bounties into its own. The first and most simple advice I can give you is always run brute force. The objectives in brute force are all super fast. You have hives, tumors, assassination and samples with the final guaranteed objective being the Grineer one. There is no reason to ever run any other type of bounty. I'm going to explain how to always be able to run brute force through rerolling. First thing, obviously, is just to check if Brute Force is available for the tier you want inside the relay part of Deimos. If it is, then that's super easy. You can go inside Deimos, talk to this mother that's located here. The reason that we voted up inside Deimos is that objectives get locked once a bounty is voted up inside an open world. Not that it matters too much if you're running a tier 5 bounty, as fun fact, Deimos only has five possible objectives in each bounty, meaning you will always get the same five objectives if you are running a tier five. So instead of explaining how to lock objectives like I did in the Cetus and Fortuna video, I'm going to explain how to get the best bounty whenever you want. It's super simple. The first step is to select the bounty in the relay section part of Deimos at the tier of bounty that you want to run. For farming tokens for standing, Tier 5 is the best, obviously, but sometimes there might be things that you want from lower tiers. Enter into Deimos next. This locks all the tiers of the bounties that you can vote up inside Deimos to the tier of the bounty that you voted up when entering, meaning that every bounty from all the mothers are now Tier 5. Then, simply enter the objective that spawns and leave. Now, in Deimos, there are four re-roll mothers and one mother that has the exact same as in the relay. All you need to do is check the four re-roll mothers and find one that has brute force. Now, luckily for us, like mentioned before, there are very few different bounties, meaning the chance of a brute force spawning is actually incredibly high. So go around and check. When you find one, vote it up and you're set to go. You can continue voting up from that same mother over and over until you either want to stop or the bounties reset, which happens about every two and a half hours. Doing this method gets you tokens incredibly quickly. Not only that, but the added bonus of decent passive endo gain, some unvaulted relics, as well as amber stars make this an absolutely incredible farm. Now, mother tokens are the largest part of Deimos, and honestly, you can get by with only doing that. However, this is a video going over all of Deimos, so we do need to talk about the other areas as well. The first of these extra areas being hunting. I have made a dedicated video about this in the past. The simple fact of this being that hunting as you would normally in Fortuna or Cetus is actually the slowest way in Deimos. Unless you are needing a very specific animal tag, it is actually best 
to do this an alternate way than you'd expect. That is, using an arc wing and a trank rifle. Equinox also making this way faster with the ability to sleep the animals. When aiming in with the rifle, you will hear some beeps when an animal is in the area, and you can also see small glowing outlines on animals in your scope through walls. This means due to Demo spawning a ton of random animals, you can get tons of tags with very little effort. All you need to do is fly around the very edge of Deimos with your tranquilizer rifle out and aiming in occasionally. Then, simply, every time you see one, jump out of the Arcwing, use your Equinox to sleep them quickly, pick them up and keep going. You'll get tags incredibly quickly. The only downside of course is that there is a lower chance to get the rare animals than if you're doing hunting the normal way. But I believe doing this way is definitely the way to go. Another thing that I have made a video on in the past, in the first week of Deimos, is these things called pylons. And this is why I love Deimos so much. Every method of farming has an alternate way of doing so. Bounties are easier, hunting you don't need to do the normal way, and now we have pylons, which means you don't really need to do fishing or mining. These pylons are located in Deimos, and can drop fishing resources as well as gems and minerals. Since I have made a video on this before, as well, I'll link it below, but I will give a brief explanation to cover it all. Every one of these pylons has a different symbol above them. These relate to the Kuva Requiem mods, but each of these symbols denote a different challenge or a way to kill the enemies. To activate a pylon, you must shoot at it with your operator amp. This spawns mobs and starts the challenge. Every kill that aligns with the correct way to complete the challenge will result in resources being dropped out of the top of the pylon. Kills have to be made with either an amp or a necromat. Killing normally will never do anything for you. The best way to farm these is running a Vorbin to pull all the enemies into one location and using a necromat for the killing. Of course, running a Smita Kavat is 100% recommended for the chance of Bless doubling the resources gained from this method. The only one thing you need to learn that may take some time is what challenges each symbol relates to, and I explained every single one of these in depth in our pylon guide. Of course, on Deimos you can still do mining. There are two gems that cannot be obtained just from the pylons. These are the Xenohast and the Embolus. So you will have to do some mining at some point, even in a small amount. In these cases, this cave straight out and to the right in Deimos and down in this crevice has more than enough mining nodes and locations to get all the resources that you'll need. Remembering that you do not always have to do the mining perfectly and just spamming it is more than good enough. Now, fishing on the other hand, that's something you should really only do if you want to try it. Outside of that, there is literally no reason to do so. And not only is it not needed, but in my opinion, fishing here is boring, tedious, and painful. Since the pylon method drops every single type of fish resource, running that instead is entirely advised. However, if you do for whatever reason enjoy fishing here and want to make progress doing it that way, make sure you get yourself a ton of dye. The fish floating in Deimos can make getting them or seeing them incredibly annoying. This dye makes it way, way easier. I'll link the wiki for those that wish to try this, but seriously, I highly recommend just doing pylons instead. The only other important thing running in Deimos is of course, the vaults. Vaults have a lot of intricacies in them, and there is a decent bit of strategy that can go into running them effectively. I will probably have to make a more focused guide on these at some point in the future. But for now, I'm just going to link a video made by Tactical Potato on how best to farm isolation vaults. Deimos is an entirely different ball game to Fortuna and Cedars, being able to run completely differently if you so wish, while giving a lot more freedom to the players to try and optimize things that in other open worlds are a lot harder than they should be. That is all for this video though. I hope that maybe you learned something that you did not know before, whether it was the brute force is the best bounty, or you are new and haven't learned about pylons before. Hell, even the hunting method I have never really hear anyone talk about. Either way, I'll leave this video here. Much love, and Robo out.